Yes. I think they'll do very nicely indeed. Earth was once like this? I don't know. It's certainly a far cry from Cypress Corners. Yeah, too far, I'd say. What's this, Leisure Village? Well, I suppose people had to rest sometime. Well, they probably came here. Ideal specimens, Dr. Tabor. Even you must admit these will be challenging. Ideal specimens, Dr. Tabor. Even you must admit these will be challenge enough to prove my theory. afraid of? You're afraid of me? Where is everybody? My name is Garth. I come from Cypress Corners. I don't suppose you've ever heard of us. well enough to defend yourself. Where is everybody? Has something frightened them away? Some... some danger? Why were you left behind? Was that it? Some danger? Look. Do you want me to help you get away from here? Is it safe for us to be here, then? In 
why did everyone else run away? Are you still afraid of me? Well, that's some progress. Now, what are we going to do with you? She didn't give you any kind of a clue at all? Just a feeling that there was some kind of danger that drove everybody away and left her like this. What kind of danger? I don't know. She seems to feel that it's safe for us to be here, though. yours. Were you the only one left behind? Why? Was it some sort of punishment? Or didn't you have anyone to look out for you? Maybe it was every man for himself no one noticed or cared. Where did they all go? What was it they were so afraid of? I just wanted to see if they had a chance. Why didn't they stand their ground and fight? It's going to take some time. You weren't able to get through to her at all? What do we do? Just sit here and wait? We certainly can't leave the girl here. I wasn't suggesting leaving her. We can't take her with us either. She belongs here. I think we should stay here until we know what's going on. I can break them within 48 hours. Will you then finally agree that my view of the human beast is more realistic than yours? Wherever they're from, they've had some ethical programming, aside from being friends since childhood. Precisely. Those others were a contemptible lot to begin with. Soft, feckless, cruel, every man for himself. But these three, if I can turn them into strangers, each concerned only for his own survival, what will you say then about the nobility of human nature, about the myth of man created in some divine image? I think you will fail this time, Dr. Asgard. If we are to breed a race of people capable of adjusting to the harsh environment whatever planet the Ark sets down on... Then we must program every hint of softness out of them. Everything except the raw instinct of survival. breed a race of people capable of adjusting to the 
harsh and violent whatever planet the Ark sets down on. Then we must program every hint of softness out of them. Everything except the raw instinct of survival. You still don't agree with that aim, even though you've worked here for years. Knowing this biosphere was established for precisely that purpose. Dr. Asgard, this institute, the whole concept of Leisure Village was to help the people of the Ark, not to prove your theories of human behavior. You still believe your notions will prevail? Notions, Doctor? Do you call the idea of decency, of love and mutual trust a notion? Our newcomers, for instance. Those three know the absolute necessity of trusting one another. I say you will fail. What if I can crush that friendship? Will you then yield to my theories for teaching our young? What if I can crush that friendship? Will you then yield to my theories for teaching our young? Will you? All right. Yes. Ethan. Your name is Ethan. Can you tell us about your people now? Others. You mean others drove them away? What others? Letha. Letha. Are you holding anything back that we should know? Look, stop pushing her, will you? Can't you see she's scared to death? No. I think she's holding something back. Yeah, then you have to be patient. She's still not recovered. I think she knows something. If you're so impatient for answers, why don't you ask those who ran away? I can find anyone. Lisa, is there some danger we should know about? yourself against what them against them who's them your friends Our snake in the Garden of Eden, Diana. Phase one. Our snake in the Garden of Eden, Diana. Phase one. Lisa. What are you searching for? Information. Wisdom? Information. Facts. Oh, here? Yes, here or anywhere else I can find it. Are you all right? Yes. <laughs> what kind of information? Well, I was hoping that somewhere down here I might be able to find a computer or something. Maybe even the, the them that you mentioned. Anything else that I can find about the Ark? 
Why? Because I need it. Why? Well, among other things, in order to save your biosphere, uh, your world, and any others. You mean you want to enslave us? No, I want us all to work together. Why? Because unless we do, none of us will survive. Are your friends also working for this? Of course. But they love each other. And you stand in their way. What makes you say that? Oh, I thought you were a clever man. What are you holding behind your back? What do you want? Kevin. You're in terrible danger. What kind of danger? Your friends are not what you think they are. I have work to do. He doesn't seem to be... Very suggestible. A minor setback. She will not fail the next time. He doesn't seem to be very suggestible. A minor setback. She will not fail the next time. I don't think they'll ever come back. Who? My people. Why do you say that? They just don't seem to trust each other. Well, how? After all these generations, did people suddenly lose their trust in each other? Do you trust your friends? Of course I do. But your friend Devin, didn't he steal your woman? She chose him. But she belongs to you, doesn't she? No. Back in Cypress Corners, not here. You like me, don't you? Yes. What if Rachel died or, or disappeared? And your friend decided to steal me from you? <laughs> Demond wouldn't do that. Do you know where he is now? Yeah, he's uh, exploring. Why? Will try to find some of your people? Question them? What if he brought them back? And they tried to kill me? Now, why would they want to do that? Would you protect me? Of course I would. Do you swear it? Yes. Dr. Asgard. You don't trust the evidence of your eyes and ears? There must be more to human nature than mistrust, self-interest, suspicion, eternal loneliness. Study man's history on the home planet as I have. No other conclusion is possible. The answer is not to be found in history alone. Phase two. No, Dr. Asgard. You don't trust the evidence of your eyes and ears? 
There must be more to human nature than mistrust, self-interest, suspicion, eternal loneliness. Study man's history on the home planet as I have. No other conclusion is possible. The answer is not to be found in history alone. Man is a monster. He always was and always will be. That is how the youth on the ark must be educated. Never. The young must be programmed to accept the skull beneath the skin, the beast within themselves, not to deny it or paper over it. That is how the youth on the ark must be educated. Never. The young must be programmed to accept the skull beneath the skin, the beast within themselves, not to deny it or paper over it, as the religions or arts have so pathetically tried to do. If you will not follow these policies, I will accept your resignation right now. You haven't won your experiment yet. could really get to like this. It's a good sort of life, I suppose. Couldn't you just see yourself staying here the rest of your days? Under the right circumstances. With Devon? Yes. And what if he doesn't come back? Why shouldn't he? You make it sound like he's been gone for days. How long has he been gone? What's the matter with you? Garth, what's the matter with us? I feel so strange. Well, there's nothing the matter with me. those who would take our land. Where are they? Are you all from Leisure Village? From above in this biosphere. Who told you they were invaders? Anyway, why didn't you stand your ground? I would have. But not him. Not them. I was ready to fight. But not alone. I knew I couldn't trust them to back me up. Don't you trust each other? Everybody knows the invader can't be stopped. Well, who is everybody? Who is the invader? We were told, you strike them, they feel not. You, you stab them, they bleed not. I'm bleeding, I'm feeling pain. 
I'm not your invader. There is no invader. It's a trick. A trick to get us into the open and slaughter us. But I'm as human and as vulnerable as you are. Look. They're masters of deception. Everyone knows that. Wait. That he is mortal, that he may stumble and bleed and feel pain. If we can show everyone, perhaps they will decide to stand and fight. But there's no need to stand and fight. We're alone and unarmed. There are only three of us. Look, we came here to save your world and all the other worlds on this ark. We don't need your help. We already have the perfect life. Come here. You live like animals. You don't trust each other. Is that the perfect life? You're hungry. Is that good? The invader is too much for us. The only invader is your loss of faith in one another. The fact that you don't trust each other. We will use him to prove that the invader is only mortal. Spread the word. Tell our people they will see the invader does bleed. Go, tell the others. And his friends, will they not try to free him? Diana, you saw for yourself. He has no friends, not any longer. You're wrong. <laughs> you poor optimist. No wonder you've lost all influence over programming of our young. These three are different, they're stronger. They've retained the moral heritage of Earth. See how much good that will do them when the villagers demonstrate this one's mortality. Garth! Garth, Devin's not back yet. Please, please get up and help me find him. Why do we have to find him? He's your friend as much as mine. Please help me. You did this. Why don't you go back to your people? You're not helpless any longer. They're not my people. And I never was helpless. Then why? What have you done to us? I merely assisted in some experimental research. Which is now concluded. What sort of experiment? You'll find out soon enough. Was part of the experiment to drive the people out of the village? They did it themselves. And what do you expect us to do to ourselves? The same thing. What, to run away? Panic? You'll find out soon enough. Where's Devon? Playing his appointed role. Where is he, Letha? That, too, is part of the experiment. But I will let you see your friend. You don't have to prove that I'm mortal. I can help you more easily than that. You claim there is no enemy at all? No, there is an enemy in your midst. But I can help you overcome that enemy. That was your friend, offering to betray you at the price of his own safety. He wouldn't do that. You heard him yourself. He could have meant you. You are the enemy. It sounded as though he turned against us. I want to see more. Garth, we've got to find him. Why? 
Devin is now our enemy. You saw him. You heard him. Don't you understand? We're part of an experiment. That was part of it. I heard him plainly. Devin is now my enemy. Of course, he always has been. I was sent to hunt him down. By some witchcraft, he made me believe he was my friend. He even stole you. But I'm not deceived anymore. Don't you see? She's hypnotized you. Your mind is not your own. Don't you see? She's hypnotized you. Your mind is not your own. Devin is my enemy. Oh, I'll go with you to find him. But only to return him to Cypress Corners for his just punishment. You insist on having this charade played out to the end? If you can see the rightness of my theories, we can stop right here. And what will happen to the three subjects? Does it matter? I suppose they, well, whoever survives the confrontation, will each go his own way. And their concern for the Ark? Young men and their dreams of glory. I assure you, Diana, the Ark is no peril whatever. Dr. Asgard, wait. My life's work is to be proven worthless. I want to see the end. To the last drop of blood? To the last drop of blood. to betray his friends. I didn't! I did not offer to betray my friends. I offered to, to help you expose your enemy. Who would that be? The girl you left behind, Letha. She was too weak to come with us. Pretty child, but each of us already had one. She first talked about the invader, didn't she? We all did. Who started the rumor? Rumors have no beginning. Of course they do. Now try to remember. She mentioned it first, didn't she? She also said that the invader would be small in number, treacherous and cunning, ready to make fools of us. I see she spoke the truth. We will demonstrate to all that he is mortal. This way. How do you know? Devil was looking for the computers. He wanted to help the villagers. What if we are overpowered as he was? He didn't watch out for himself. He would try to rescue us if we were in danger. Are we looking for him, Arma? Yes, but you're looking for him as a hunter, not a friend. I know my duty. friends? Who else? Are you quite certain they're your friends? Yes. Then why haven't they tried to help you? When we first found you helpless and unable to speak, it was all part of an act, wasn't it? It was part of the experiment. What experiment? An inquiry into the truth about human nature. 
in order to devise a rational program of education. I see. And it was part of the experiment. What experiment? An inquiry into the truth about human nature in order to devise a rational program of education. I see. Um, Is that it? The last ones. The others were easy. But you three were the only ones who seriously challenged Dr. Asgard's theories. For a time. But now the experiment is concluded. In a little while, the villagers with great fanfare and self-congratulations will, will put you to your death. And your so-called friends will prove to only be concerned with their own safety. You know, Devon, it's a pity we didn't meet under more auspicious circumstances. people that you are mortal. But I am mortal. I'm not an invader. There are no invaders. Just so. You'll prove that to our people when you burn. If I were, what would you expect me to do about it? Don't you care? I care only for myself. Maybe for her. For Letha? Well, she cares for me. You never did. That's not true, Garth. She only wants what's good for me. You don't want a woman. You want a lapdog. Well, I know what I don't want. I'm going to her. Now. Garth, wait. Devin needs you. He's your friend. There are no friends. Not in this world. This is what you think your people need. And what do you believe they need? quality that allows human beings to live together in peace. And what is that? A mother throws her child into the air and he laughs. He knows his mother will not let him fall because he trusts her unless someone destroys that trust. We have long ceased to be children. And what is once lost can never be regained. You're wrong. And you know it. Prove it. What? Prove it. That man can learn to live with each other in peace? I can't even prove that I'm a man. You have words. Convince us. Convince me that if I leaped into a fire, one of them would try to save me. Convince me. Words are cheap. Only actions will convince your people. You want us to trust you, but we're not fools. Only your death will erase their fear. Rachel! Garth! Where are you? You 
You say only actions will convince our people. But where are the actions of your friends? Rachel! In a few moments it will all be over. You've done a good day's work, Letha. Then why do I feel so uneasy? Uneasy? There's a... a sadness, a... a melancholy I... I just can't seem to shake off. Your education was incomplete. Come back to the Institute. We'll check your programming for weak spots. There's... there's something about him. A, a beauty, a... a completeness, a, an understanding of himself. Your assignment is terminated. Come back at once. What assignment? You startled me. You've come back. Yes. Is something wrong? My friend is dead. Or will be any minute. It was not your friend. I stole your woman. His life was in my hands. I did nothing. There was nothing you needed to do. What assignment? I heard you talking to somebody. Dr. Asgard, the Institute of Re-Education. Dr. Asgard, the Institute? I, I, I don't understand. There were theories he'd set out to prove. He was successful. Now my assignment is over. Well, what did he prove? Well, it doesn't matter any longer, does it? Your friend is dead. You have your own life to lead. You talk to me as though all of a sudden, I was a stranger. We were all strangers. And when you smiled at me, took my hand, was that part of your assignment? Garth, you're beginning to bore me. Is that all I was to you? The subject of an experiment? Well, what did you want from me? I... I thought you felt something for me. No feelings. Feelings would have clouded the issue. Destroyed my effectiveness. Goodbye, Garth. one of them? I am his friend. So you've come to die with him? You have no cause to kill him. It is important to my people to prove you mortal, that they are not in fear of you. And killing him, will that prove that? You know of a better way? prove that I am mortal? There's only one way to prove mortality. No, wait. In place of his life, take mine. You mean that? Take me. Why? He would do as much for me. Why? Well, if you don't understand that, you don't understand friendship. And you will never be a people again. 
you came here to offer your life in place of your friends? There was no other way. I asked you for proof. Proof that men can learn again to place their lives into another's hands. I thank you for having proved it. Something went wrong. It was not a clean experiment. There were too many unknown factors. The only unknown factor, Dr. Asgard, was three very human beings.